Okay, so this is an install that I've done in Welsh Sport. Um, just want to show you this. So basically it's an Evo home system, eight radiator Evo home system. Um, hot water sensors here. Uh, heating relay is there. Hot water relay is there. Switch fuse spur is here with a three amp fuse. Uh, the existing tank thermostat, because it's a Worcester CDI, uh, this is a 30 CDI, uh, classic system with an integrated diverter valve, and it's piped up so it uh, it does the hot water um, on a four pipe. Uh, it goes into this uh, Telford cylinder that's here, and it's got the Worcester sensor which goes in here. I've also put the Evo Home CS92A sensor in the same slot. Uh, the control stat had already been removed, but it's not required, but the high limit has been wired that if it ever trips, it kills the power supply to the boiler. So what we had with this, we had a little, so pretty standard Evo system, so that wasn't the issue. What we had was a little problem where um, we're trying to integrate hot water kit into it. So a uh, customer wanted Evo Home, hang on, let me just turn my head torch off. So customer wanted Evo Home to control the hot water. So I didn't want the Worcester controlling it. So what we've had to do, we've had to put a, a 1K resistor across the hot water terminals there and through the domestic hot water relay, Evo Home. So it's a volt free connection. Uh, basically it goes onto one side of the resistor bank on the second side of the resistor bank, I've took a wire off into the Wago and then out of uh, the second side here and that goes back to the relay. So I've put a 1K resistor in there and the 1K resistor will, will replicate an 80 degrees Celsius uh, water temperature. So when it replicates the 80 degrees C water temperature, so if the relay switches off, it will replicate 80 degrees to the boiler and the boiler will come out of domestic hot water mode. Uh, that way um, we put the dial on the front to maximum uh, so the cylinder will go and charge up to maximum but the Eva home system here on the CS92A which is down there that will remain in control so the Worcester although it's got a four pipe we're actually controlling it via the Eva home system and we're doing that by fooling the uh, resistance reading here which will this keep uh, so basically when it it's um, when the uh, relays on um, it will read the Worcester temperature sensor and when it goes off it will read the resistor reading there. Uh, so pretty standard wiring on the heating side. Uh, I've just took the connections off there. Neutral, permanent live and switch live supply. Go down to the heating relay. Uh, all pretty standard stuff. The only thing that's obviously a bit bespoke is on this side here. So the grey cable isn't used, I've just added the earth across to the earth just to make it extra safe. Uh, and like I said, we're just using that resistor there just to turn the Worcester off. Uh, when the relay goes off, uh, like I said, it sees the resistance of that across these terminals and the boiler goes off to messy hot water mode. On the front, I didn't know if it needed it or not, but I wasn't taking any chances. I've put a twin channel uh, DT20 um, not the RF version, just the DC20, just in the fascia because I didn't know if the integral with the integral diverter valve if it needed it or not. But this will go in here, and I will label this up that these both must stay on the on position, uh, as the and also the domestic hot water stays at the maximum position. The central heating can then be set to a, a lower flow temperature, um, and it will stay at that temperature for space heating, and then which some the customer's going to adjust. And then on this side, it will go for a higher flow temperature when it's recovering the domestic hot water cylinder, which is a Telford, uh, Telford Tempest. So there we are. So there's another Evo home job. Uh, this is an upgrade here. So uh, two flow temperatures on a, uh, a Worcester CDI system. If you have any questions about the installation, please ask. Um, but thanks very much for watching this video. If you've not already liked and subscribed to my channel, please do. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you.